Hi, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, I'm sitting here at Camp Ramah in New England. It's uh, close to the time for our first Shabbat here for this summer, and I wanted to give a small Devar Torah um, on Parshat Pinchas. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Joshua Kulp. I am the Rosh Beit Midrash here in Kites Alpine B'Shoshesway, Kites 2013. And this week is Parshat Pinchas, and I wanted to talk about something uh, that I find very interesting in this Parsha. Uh, there's two stories that come one right after the other in the Parsha. The first story is about the daughters, the Benot Srofchad, a very well-known story. They have no brothers. And according to the practice before the daughters of Srofchad, only male children would inherit their fathers. So they come to Moses. They say, Moses, if we don't have uh, our inheritance, we don't inherit our father, then the lands that are part of our family's ancestral inheritance will go to another tribe, will go to another family, and our family will lose out. We would like to inherit uh, in place of male children. And Moses doesn't know what the answer should be, so he goes to God and God gives him the answer that yes, the daughters of Tzlofrad can inherit. Uh, immediately following this, we have another incident where God again reminds Moses that uh, he will not be going to the land of Canaan and Joshua will inherit his leadership and uh, take over the leadership of the people of Israel as they go and conquer the land of Canaan. So we see here two chapters in a row, two stories in a row, dealing with the issue of inheritance. The Torah seems to be very concerned with the issue of inheritance over here. And on the one hand, in the first chapter, the story of the daughters of the first story, we see that it's very important that the bloodlines remain, that the daughters, although they're not male, and back then only males generally inherited, that the inheritance stays in the family. And yet in the second incident, we see that uh, Moses' sons do not inherit his place, neither his spiritual nor his political leadership over the people of Israel. We almost never hear about Moses' children. Um, and uh, Joshua inherits his place. And I think that uh, the lesson we learn here, and one of the lessons that I think we, we try to convey to our children here at Machane Ramah, uh, to our Chanichim, is that there are some things that they will inherit from their parents. And I'm not just talking about physical things, but spiritual qualities, um, emotions, who they are that they will inherit from their parents. And they'll see as they get older and as they become madrichim that they become in many ways just like their parents. Um, but on the other hand, uh, every child is on his own and uh, people are reaching out and growing in new ways that are not a direct result of their parents, um, that are um, they're coming into the way they are meant to be. They're, they're carving their own individual paths in life. Um, and that's, I think, what we see from Joshua. Joshua took over the leadership of the people of Israel, even though he didn't inherit it through the bloodline of Moses. Some things we get from our parents, and some ways in life, some ways that we're going to be, some things that we're going to be, we have to find for ourselves. So Shabbat Shalom to everybody, and I hope you enjoy your time, your Shabbat.